From gridiron to griddle is the tale of a former NFL player's second career, as told by our Luke Burbank. Eddie Jackson's body is a temple, one he once used to crush opponents on the NFL gridiron. That was Eddie Jackson. These days, he hits the gym in preparation for a very different kind of battle. I have to do this because I love food so much. As chef, host, I'm Eddie Jackson, and all-around star for the Food Network. Today's menu is going to be the bomb. We got 30 seconds left, guys. And Jackson tackles Sorry. The cheese, it didn't get melted. His role as food judge. You have found a way to take ground chicken and make me think that it's lamb. Just like an NFL coach. The bolognese was very flavorful, but we thought you missed the mark with the nachos. Is it hard for you sometimes because you got to like some of these contestants and you got to tell them it's time to go home? <laughs> yeah. You know what? That doesn't bother me at all because at some point in time, you're going to fail. But a lot of times when you send these people home, they get better for it. And I feel like that's just me being an athlete. I've realized that. At home near Houston. So this is our tequila lime shrimp and fajita beef. Jackson owns Rose Hill Beer Garden. You're always coming up with something new, man. That's our classic original cheesecake. Where the food trucks must also get past his palate. The hardest part is how you eat it, though. Enjoy. I have to mm. taste the food. And if I don't like the food, you can't be at Rose Hill. Every time is so good. Jackson got his love for cooking from his grandmother, Geraldine. But growing up in the 1980s, Jackson says a culinary career didn't feel like a real option. What were the jobs that you saw other young black men going into? Athlete, you know, basketball player, a football player, or things like that. So that's what he did, pursuing athletics and defying the odds by making the NFL as an undrafted free agent. The odds, however, did catch up with him, as they typically do, in the form of injuries, and he was out of the league after four seasons. For his post-NFL life, at age 28, Jackson took a chance with his own catering business and a food truck, appropriately called The Fit Chef. You went in a totally different direction. Yeah, if you're doing what you love, you're not working. And granted, I tried, I want, you know, thought about coaching and all those different things, but I, I never felt that that would give me the fulfillment that I truly wanted. Then, in 2012, his girlfriend, now fiancé, Melissa Morris, submitted Jackson for the TV show Master Chef, but she didn't tell him. About three weeks later, Eddie gets a phone call, and he calls me right after, and he says, why am I getting a phone call from MasterChef? And I said, oh yeah, about that, and it all went from there. So, chefs, first name is Eddie. Eddie Jackson was back in the spotlight. I'm asking you, will you eat this? No. That's interesting. At least temporarily. The person leaving MasterChef tonight, Eddie. With the tenacity of a one-time pro athlete. I'm gonna use a little bit of these muscles I got up here and just go ahead and get in there. Rip. Oh. Jackson set his sights on another TV cooking competition, Food Network Star. He's perfect. Which he won. <laughs> Eddie Jackson is known for his meaty and spicy bites. What I like to do when I make my sliders okay. is put a whole slice of cheese on it. Which he now showcases on the streaming service Discovery Plus. What you got for us, Eddie? It's game day. One of his favorites. All right, so we're going to make Cajun sticky wings. Perfect for watching the Super Bowl. Let's get to it. I always make my own rubs. This particular rub is called Texas Heat. We like things a little <laughs> spicy. All right, so we have our wings. And the key to any wings is that you want to make sure that the wings are extra dry. I just patted these with a little paper towel. How much of this stuff was taught to you by your grandma? Well, for me, a lot of this is kind of trial and error and traveling a lot. I picked up a lot of new flavor combination. So they're nice and okay. breaded right now. I've got the seasoning on them. So all we have to do now is get them in the fryer. Okay. These things look legit. Yeah. 
Are you immune to oil burns at this point? Yeah, I mean, if you look <laughs> at my hands, seriously, look at my hands. I have so many burnt. I actually have a fresh one right there. What would uh, you get more injured from, football or frying wings? Oh, football. People are like, oh, do you miss playing football? No, I don't miss playing football. You think I've missed tearing my ACL? When today's Super Bowl kicks off, Eddie Jackson won't be anywhere near the field, but he will be right where he wants to be. That is delicious. Do you think it's arguable that you're a better chef than you were a football player? I don't know, because I was a pretty good football player. The difference between being a chef and being a football player, you get to a point as an athlete to where you just can't get any better because of age. You'll have ultimately more time in this game. You've seen a 70-year-old chef, right? Yeah. Have you ever seen a 70-year-old football player? Not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying.